Wales has some of the best lowland wetlands in Europe, 11 of which are specially protected as Natura 2000 sites. Wildlife hotspots with a fascinating history, wetlands were once widespread and a key part of the local economy. But drainage and agricultural changes has left us just a few surviving remnants. Raised peat bogs form in natural hollows, like this one at Corus Caron Special Area of Conservation near Tregaron in Mid Wales. The wet, acidic conditions mean that moss and other plants don't decay fully, creating peat which has built up over 10,000 years. Specialist plants like cotton grass, bog asphodel and the carnivorous sundew thrive here. Over time the peat has built up to a great dome of 8 metres or more above the surrounding land. All that peat locks up huge quantities of carbon, helping us to reduce greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and mitigating the damaging effects of climate change. But past peat cutting and drainage is harming the bog, causing water to seep away, drying it out. Dams and barriers have been constructed, but more work needs to be done. Here at Anglesey Fens Special Area of Conservation in North Wales, the wetlands are fed by calcium-rich springs producing Fenland, a wildlife paradise. The central swampy area where reeds grow is almost always wet. Sedge dominates the drier areas and without the cutting or grazing which occurred in the past, the fen begins to dry out and scrub and trees take hold. With support, some farmers will reintroduce cattle, but if not, ponies can keep the fen in good condition and make an attractive site for visitors. Our last remaining lowland wetlands give us a glimpse of the way that much of Wales would have looked in the past, rich in flowers, insects and birds. They're also linked to our culture and traditions. But with their ability to control flood water and lock up carbon dioxide, wetlands still have a key role to play in the modern world. So we need to keep our wetlands in good condition for future generations. <laughs>